Hello, this video starts a brand new application and a new section in our course where we're going to go ahead and create the tip calculator and throughout the process of this application we're going to learn more about the tools and objects we have available through the Android Software Development Kit. So I'm going to go ahead now and begin by closing the previous tabs that I had open from the Hello World application just so that I don't get confused with so many tabs open. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize the Hello World application. Now I'll go ahead and create a new application by going to File, New, and then Android Application Project. Here I can type in the name, so I'll just type in Tip Calculator. And I'm going to change the minimum required software development kit. I want to put that as Honeycomb. From now on, I'm pretty much going to be choosing Honeycomb. You can still use some of the older options, but there were quite a few changes between Froyo and Gingerbread to Honeycomb. So between the gingerbread and honeycomb option, quite a few things change in the software development kit. And I like to keep that as my minimum option. So now I'll go ahead and hit next. And I'm gonna leave everything here default, just hit next. In the next section, when we create a different application, we're gonna be working with the launcher icon. This is the icon that actually gets put on the Android device so that you can click it to open your application. I'm going to leave that default for this one as well. So, so when I do look at the apps in our application, it'll still have the same icon as the Hello World because we use this one for the Hello World, but it'll have a new name called Tip Calculator. So I'm going to leave that as well and just hit Next. I'm going to go ahead and create a blank activity. Hit Next. And the default name again is going to be Main Activity and Activity underscore Main for the layout. And I'll just go ahead and hit Finish. And I do have a new application now to work with, the tip calculator. You can see it's opened up for us and, and some of the folders have already been expanded for us. I'll go ahead and expand the resources folder and expand the layout folder. And you can see there's my activity main.xml. Now the purpose of this lesson is to create a new splash screen or an, another activity with another layout that's gonna open up first before our main content. In the last section, we only worked with mainactivity.java and activity main.xml as our only two files for coding. We can add additional activities and additional layouts. To do that, what we'll do is just right click on our package name and choose new. And I'm going to go down to other. And if you expand the Android option, you'll see Android activity. And I'll go ahead and choose new. I'm going to leave that as a blank activity and hit next. And here's the name. I currently have an error up here. It says activity main already exists. And it does. It's using the default names that we had from the wizard when we set up our application. So I need to change this. Instead of saying main activity, I'm going to call this one splash activity. Now notice that as I type this, the layout name is also changed. So is this layout is going to be called Activity Splash. And I'll go ahead and hit Finish. All right, that went ahead and created for us SplashActivity.java, and you can see that's just been loaded up in our tabs, as well as the activity underscore splash.xml. So now I have two additional files to work with. I have two layouts and two activities to work with. We can see the SplashActivity.java loaded up. And I want to point out right here, set content view. This method is linking this Java activity to the activity splash.xml layout. And you can see that listed right there. Okay, let's go ahead and modify that layout. So I'll click on activity splash.xml and I'll switch over to the graphical layout. And again, if we maximize this, I can see I've got another hello world, just like when we created the activity main and main activity files. I'll go ahead and delete that hello world. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the XML code because I want to see what kind of layout I'm using. I'm currently using a relative layout and you can see I've got an opening and closing tag and there are currently no other views or any other objects on my layout. I'm going to switch back over to the graphical layout. Let's move over a large text view. I'll drop that on our layout. In fact, I can drop it pretty much anywhere that I want because I'm using the relative layout. And I'm going to come back over to the XML. 
And if I take a look at the attributes, I can see that I have the width, which is wrapping the content. The height is wrapping the content. Align parent top is currently true. Center horizontally is currently true. And then I'm coming down from the margin 175 density pixels. All right, if I take this attribute out, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and put in a new attribute. And I'll go ahead and type in Android colon layout underscore center. And you can see I have center horizontal, center and parent, or center vertical. I'll go ahead and put center vertical. And if I hold the control space bar, I can see I have two options, true and false. I'm gonna go ahead and put that as true and switch back over to my graphical layout. I can see that I have it centered horizontally, although it's all the way to the top. And if I go back to my attributes, the attribute that I'm looking for is, oh, there it is, align parent top currently is true. I can remove that attribute. I don't want to align it with the top of the layout. There we go. So now if I switch back over to the graphical layout, you can see that the text is currently centered horizontally and vertically within the screen. Now let's go ahead and change some of the other attributes with this particular text view. I'm going to right click on it and choose to edit the ID. I want to call this one text view splash. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then also the text for this, I want it to say tip calculator. So I'm going to right click on it and choose to edit the text. And we'll go ahead and create a new string. And I'll call this string splash underscore text. And for the value, I'll go ahead and type in tip calculator. And I'll hit OK. And it is still selected. And you can see that it's going to reference the string splash text. And I'll hit OK. And now you can see that the text is a little larger than a regular text view. And if we switch back over to the XML, I just want to point out that we have this attribute in here called the text appearance, which is making this look a little larger than what we had before. If I wanted to, I could just go ahead and add my own size in there. So I'm going to remove this attribute just to show you. If I remove that and switch it back to the graphical layout, the text is the default size of a regular text view. I'll switch back over to the XML. Let's go ahead and add Android colon text size. And for this one, let's try 50 SP. And let's go ahead and take a quick look. And that's a little too large, so I'm going to come back to it and change it down to 40 scalable independent pixels. And that looks a little bit better. All right, let's go ahead and save our work. And in the next video, we're going to continue our application. Control S. All right.